As we've been locked up in our homes, there has certainly been a significant increase in those playing games. Whether it be COD, Fortnite, Among Us, or you guessed it, Fall Guys, it's safe to say this year alone has seen a huge uptick of popularity in the gaming community, or at least specific games. Much like Tiger King back in March, it seems a handful of games absolutely exploded in popularity, and one of those games is certainly Fall Guys. Although it was only released in August of 2020, it's gone on to sell over 11 million copies as of December 2020, which is quite impressive. Clearly a game that has captivated an audience, it seems the Fall Guys obsession isn't slowing down anytime soon, and for good reason. It's fun. Being compared to the likes of Super Monkey Ball and Mario Party, as well as Among Us, likely due to the fact that both games exploded in popularity during our pandemic, what's not to love? Well, I'll tell you what's not to love, is if these things were real and killed us. Nice. Today on Life's Biggest Questions, we're asking what if Fall Guys was real? Before we get into things, make sure you guys smash that like button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get into it. So if you've yet to play Fall Guys, well get on that. As previously mentioned, it's been compared to Mario Party and Super Monkey Ball, as well as real life TV show obstacle course games such as Wipeout, Takashi's Castle, and It's a Knockout. It's believed the real life game shows featuring obstacle courses inspired this game in the first place, which was developed by Mediatonic. Playing as these little jelly bean looking figures, which are commonly referred to as just beans, it seems these things really aren't as small or nearly as cute as originally thought. Their lore is also quite dark, and makes things a lot scarier if in fact they were real. For starters, the beans are about 6 feet tall, and although appear to be round, it seems there's a lot of skin, or muscle, maybe fat, filling the way. A photo was released showing what the inside of the beans look like, and it turns out these things have an inner skeleton that is oddly shaped. With a skull similar to ours, it seems their spine, or maybe neck, is elongated and slightly bent into their incredibly small framed bodies. Their legs also appear to be quite long, as they are bent at an almost 90 degree angle, even though you would never be able to guess that seeing these things from the outside. So what is their purpose? Well if you thought all these little guys did was run around an obstacle like course track and play little mini games if you will, until there is one remaining bean or a winning team, you'd be right on the money. While being interviewed on the Min Max show, a senior designer from Mediatonic, Joe Walsh, explained their lore or backstory. I quote, Fall Guys exists in this world to compete and they're full of enthusiasm and quests for glory. But they pop into existence, they compete, and they go forever. Now just to clarify, no that isn't the same Joe Walsh that is partially responsible for some of the best music ever made. And that was an Eagles reference for those of you guys who didn't catch on. Getting back to the beans from Fall Guys, given that they are pretty much existing just to compete forever. Well, should they ever come to Earth, however that would happen, who knows how our lives would change. Assuming that everything with these guys is a competition, it's possible we find ways to use them to our benefit, but it's also possible they ruin the human race altogether. Let's break down both. First things first, where would these things even come from? The most logical explanation would either be space or maybe a lab. Of course, if they came from space, potentially even another planet, or maybe even a different galaxy from far, far away, these beings would still be considered aliens. How or why they would come to Earth would also be a big question mark. Did they crash, or are they trying to invade? Although they don't appear to be all that aggressive or vicious, that's likely because they are normally seen in their controlled environment, which is an obstacle course and likely their home planet. If they were to come into a new environment where there isn't necessarily a set out goal, well who knows how the beans would react. As previously mentioned, I said we could either use them to our advantage, or maybe we fall victim to them. But before we talk about that chaos, let's talk about their other potential origin story. They're called beans likely due to the fact that they resemble exactly that. Beans. Or maybe jelly beans given their different colors and size. Either way, what I'm getting at is maybe these things are an experiment gone wrong. Maybe someone was trying to mutate a jelly bean, for whatever reason, or created some new technology to clone things and first started by testing the new tech on these beans. After all, they're small, cheap, and there's no shortage of them anywhere in the world. They're also delicious. Now it may seem far fetched that I'm saying a science experiment goes wrong on jelly beans, which leads to these massive 6 foot tall jelly beans whose one goal is to complete tasks taking over the world. But I mean this video itself is talking about if an entire fictional game was real, so it seems this video is really no holds barred. Getting back to the mutated jelly beans which are now 6 feet tall, it's unclear what technology or chemicals would be used that would lead to this in the first place. But honestly guys, I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to try to pretend like I know. All you need to know is that some laboratory worked on jelly beans and turned them into these monsters. But again, maybe they're not monsters, maybe they're just large jelly beans that aren't violent but instead are always looking to complete tasks. This leads me to the point I was making that if the beans were real, maybe they would benefit the human race as a whole. Given that they are literally created to compete, if we were somehow able to task these beans with quests such as cleaning up litter or even the ocean, 
Well, that'd be amazing. Imagine if there were hundreds or maybe even thousands of these little bean-like creatures going to the bottom of our oceans and just cleaning them up. And they're all in competition with one another, so they'd all be trying to do it as quickly and as efficiently as possible. This sounds like a very plausible and a great idea if you ask me, and not because I'm the one who thought of it first. But even giving them a task as simple as getting groceries for you, filling up your car with gas maybe, or something as simple as raking your leaves, cutting your lawn, or shoveling your driveway, could all be handed off to the beans. And again, given that they literally exist to complete these tasks as quickly and as efficiently as possible, well I mean, it would make getting everyday tasks done fairly easy. The only issue would be finding a way to lead the beans to believe that the tasks are all part of some sort of obstacle course. Or maybe they just accept the fact that instead of always competing in an obstacle course, instead they just need to complete tasks or quests. Of course, this is also where some issues may arise, as the beans would likely continue looking for new tasks or quests to complete upon finishing their initial ones. This means we would need to find ways to consistently keep the beans busy, which maybe we could achieve by having them complete a task that is literally impossible, or at the very least, something that is very 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 tough to do. Maybe we tell them to go dig for gold or try to find a way to time travel. Something so far fetched that until we could think of other tasks, we just keep them occupied. However, this could be where issues arise as well. If the beans turn out to be better workers than regular humans, it's quite possible they start to replace humans at their jobs in our everyday lives. For corporations, it's not about the employees as much as it is making money. If they can employ beans without actually having to pay them any money, and they're able to do a job much more efficiently than a human, well, it's really a no-brainer. But this could definitely be an issue as humans would need to work. A lot of people would be out of jobs, and this would certainly be a ripple effect, as it would leave people not only without jobs, but without money to buy or pay for things. We've seen how the pandemic has affected those who can't work. Imagine a permanent alien being, or should I say bean, taking your job from you. There would be resentment on top of the repercussions of people losing their jobs. Maybe people would start to get violent with the six foot tall beans and this turns into a war of humans against the beans. This is where that whole destroying the human race I previously mentioned comes into play. If the beans new goal is to destroy humans, assuming we go to war with them, well, that's all they would be doing. Given their competitive nature and their existence being to continue a quest they've started, these things wouldn't stop killing people until all the humans were gone. Either that, or until they died. Now it's unclear what makes these things tick. Aside from competition, do they have a heart? A brain? How do you kill them? In the game when you die, as is the case with most games, you respawn. Does that mean the beans are immortal? Or is that only in their world? Now if the beans were created in a lab, odds are we'd know what they're made of and how to kill them. If there were aliens, well, that's a completely different story. All in all, it seems quite clear that if Fall Guys was real, it'd either be the greatest thing or one of the worst things for the human race. Well, that's assuming that the beans either come to Earth or are created by us. If they just lived on their own planet and we knew they existed, but we didn't bother them and they didn't bother us, well, that wouldn't be all that bad, but I mean, have you guys ever seen a movie or a TV show where we find out that aliens exist and then that's just the end of that? Of course not, because that'd be a boring plot. And our lives are the most interesting plot of them all. So you bet your keister that these beans would come to Earth and wreak havoc, or we'd make them our slaves. One way or another, our lives change dramatically. And that's the end of that, folks. Now, as always, be sure to let us know your thoughts on this one down below, and if you play Fall Guys. For now, let's reply to some comments from the video, why it's impossible to get a PS5 right now. Potato Harvey said, good luck to everyone. I guess who hasn't gotten one yet? Uh, I think you just wrote, good luck to everyone hasn't gotten one yet. I think you meant to put who. That's all right, Potato Harvey. I got you. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like when I first heard about the consoles, I was excited, and now I'm kind of just like, I really don't care. I have an Xbox One. It's good enough. Like, it plays everything. I don't need the top of the line, you know, better graphics. I don't care that much, to be honest. Plus, like, I need to get a computer before, or a bed before I get a console, you know? Priorities, guys. I'm adulting. Fox Jake said, what if the PS5 was secretly a mind control device that was wired by the aliens? Interesting you say that. Everyone seems to think it's like the vaccine is the thing that's going to have the technology. But what if you're right? What if the actual technology that everyone's excited to get and is trying to get is the technology that the government is using to track us? That's crazy that maybe the technology that they're making everybody want really badly is the technology that they're using. It. That's crazy. It's a crazy thought. You got to think. Overnight Ace Nation said, Sony, PS5 sold out. Microsoft, stand back and stand by. When I tell you this comment made me laugh so hard, and I literally shared it with everybody at the studio, that's literally why I included it. I don't even have a response to it, just that was, that was a top tier comment. That was such a good comment, I loved it. It was great, so thank you for that. Anyways guys, been your host Jared Bronstein, you've been watching LBQ, and we'll see you soon. For starters, the beans are about six foot tall. Feet? Feet tall. Six feet tall? Yeah, yeah not, not six foot tall. <laughs> Do I have to say they compete again because I kind of did like a weird thing? They're called beans likely due to the fact that they resemble jelly beans. Or maybe beans. Either way, <laughs> I'm gonna hit that one up too. <laughs>